Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an interesting trigonometric equation. An inverse trigonometric equation, I should say, because arc sine and arc cosine, or arc tangent, are the inverse functions for sine, cosine, and tangent, respectively. So what does arc sine and tangent mean? We're going to talk about it using both methods. So in other words, I'm going to be presenting two methods, and let's get started. So I'll start by setting both of these expressions. Let's call this the first method. I'll start by setting both of these equal to y, and then proceeding with the definition. If arc sine x is equal to y, that means sine y is equal to x. In other words, arc sine x means the angle whose sine equals x, and that in this case would be y. Of course, this also means that tangent y is equal to x from the second equation, or this one. And now we have an interesting scenario where sine y and tangent y are equal to the same thing, which means they're equal, right? If two things are equal to the same thing, then they're equal. So sine y equals tangent y, but tangent y can be written as sine y over cosine y. And you probably know why, right? Now, we can go ahead and set these equal directly. And that gives us an interesting problem. First, we can cross multiply. Notice that you don't want cosine to be 0. Don't cancel out anything because you'll lose some solutions. Instead, subtract sine y. And then factor. Great. Now, we get an interesting scenario. First of all, we have two factors, so sine y can be 0, and that's equal to x. And remember, we're trying to sol solve for x. So once we find sine y, we don't have to worry about y because we need x. So x equals 0. Good. What about the other one? The other one gives us cosine y equals y, 1, and remember, sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to 1, so this implies that sine y is equal to 0, which is the same thing as x equals 0. So both of these equations point to the same thing, x equals 0. And that seems to be the only solution. And that kind of makes sense, because if you replace x with 0, arc sine 0 is 0, and arc tangent 0 is also 0, so they're equal. Make sense? All right. Let's take a look at the second method. Again, we're going to set these equal to y, but we'll proceed a little differently, okay? From here, we get sine y is equal to x, right? And tangent y is equal to x. So let's take this and draw a right triangle. I mean, this right triangle doesn't have to exist, but the identities still hold. So let's go ahead and call this y, and tangent y is x, so it's going to be like x over 1, could be. And then the hypotenuse follows like this, and that gives us sine x, actually. What is sine x from here? x over square root of x squared plus 1. This is an identity that you can op obtain in a different way, but now notice that sine y is also x. That's why we wrote the first equation. So these two are equal. That guess what? That gives you an equation in x. Remember, in our first method, we got an equation in y, and we solved it, and then we went to x. Here, you have the x directly. Make sense? So how do you solve it? Same method. Cross multiply. Put everything on the same side. and factor. And guess what that's going to give you? That's going to give you x equals 0 from here and x equals 0 from here because 1 minus 1 equals 0. So again, x equals 0. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, 
and bye bye.